we did something a little bit crazy. I was on Facebook. There is a farming page in our local area. I was on Facebook and I saw some pictures of these goats and the post said, these are some really friendly goats. We just need to rehome them. We have too many. So I messaged and asked if there's any females because I was thinking it might be nice to add in some females to our herd because we have currently two weathers, which are the castrated males. And it might be nice to just kind of balance it out and get some females. So she had a couple options and we decided we would go out and meet everyone and then choose which goats we liked the most and wanted to bring home. And when we were there, we kind of fell in love with all of them because they were really sweet, very well taken care of and very well socialized with people. And she said, if you want to just take four of them, I'll give it to you for the same price as if you were taking two. And then that convinced us <laughs> we should take all four of them. You'll see why. Yep. So now we have four more goats. We have six total. We have three females and three weathers. They actually do have some billy goats at this home that they're trying to get rid of as well. So you need a billy goat in order to have kids in order to make milk. Candy. Yeah. And actually it was really cool because I've never actually had goat milk before and they had some fresh, still warm goat milk and I was able to try it and it's uh, surprisingly really good. I thought it would taste a bit more like goaty, but it was very much like regular milk. So we're starting to think maybe milking goats would be kind of nice. Oh, so this is Lucy. And this is Lily. Lily. And this is Mercedes. Oh. <laughs> and that is Ben's. <laughs> they are very social. <laughs> Hi, what do you think? Come You're on, not Nebs. a Nigerian dwarf, are you? Those are Nigerian dwarfs. You're just a big, fat boy. He's a Nigerian giant. <laughs> Nigerian giant, yeah, totally. Friends. <laughs> Look how cute she is. They're so small. Eep. Aww. Oh. <laughs> <Eep>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at him. He's... Oh, yeah. I like you. <laughs> oh my god, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> She's Ned, so you're cute. You're not shy. She's so cute. So, how long have you had these goats here? A <laughs> couple hours. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Come on, guys, that's it. Come on. Come on. Oh. <laughs> you can do it. Come on, Lily. Yep, you start from through the back. Do the jump. He's gonna do it. Nice one. Nebby, you look pretty happy. He's got more friends. In competition, look. Munch. <laughs> She's... She's totally the alpha. Yeah. Okay, Nebs, jump on the boy. Can you do it? Go on, Nebs. You gotta jump down. Oh, man. Slippery. <laughs> 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 They're going the long way. <laughs> 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 
Come on, Ben. <laughs> oh, all the good yummies to get. All the good yummies to get, eh? Hi, Lucy. Oh my, what do we have here? Shaggy mane mushrooms. And they're perfect. Oh, I might be able to eat that one still. Oh man, they're close. Come on, goats! I guess I can get this real quick. Ooh, yeah, what is this? Oh, that's a good looking lobster. Yes. This one is clear. Eh, a little worse for wear. Eh, not too bad, actually. Oh, this is like such a beautiful looking mushroom. Hey, right. go get your girls. are cutting it so freaking close the temperature is dropping on us the needles are dropping on us the dew points dropping on us this we are like this close to not being able to do this this year so i think what we're going to be doing after i get a good breakfast to me is we're going to be hoarding this whole deck in with polly now, we had a windstorm last night. It was probably 60 or 70K winds. Um, can't have Polly up for that. So what we're gonna do, <clears throat> today is Tuesday. Friday, we're gonna lay the Polly out. We're gonna clean everything as much as we can to get it ready for our second layer, which is our color and our traction chips that go over top of this. Saturday, we're going to, as soon as possible, start painting so that the curing process can happen. Now, it's cold out. We have a highs of like seven or eight. I can see my breath right now and it's about 10 o'clock. We may have to open the door to the house and let the heat from the wood stove spill out into this hoarded area just so that the paint can kick off without any humidity issues. So, cross your fingers. Wish us luck. This is going to be the last sun deck like this installed anywhere around these areas for sure this year. Oh yeah, see all these needles that are still here? They're stuck in the actual coating. And the problem with that is they have moisture on them. So I gotta figure out that too because we can't be painting over moisture. We'll see what happens. Come on goats. <laughs> I love it. So I got the tractor out here in the woods. I had this pine fall down a long time ago and it had a whole bunch of beetles go into it. So I didn't want to use it for any real lumber. It's kind of just reserving it for when we need some firewood, but I need some really crappy lumber. I just need something quick that I don't need to save. I can cut up on the mill real quick and this is gonna be it. So to build my hoarding on the deck, 
This is a good enough piece of wood. I don't actually have a whole lot stacked up right now. I need to go get some of the fallen trees that have been around. But this is uh, this is gonna be perfect for me. So I'm gonna cut a good sized piece and try to wrangle it out of the forest. That may be a trick. I've got my little friends. This is little Lily. She's out having a chow. Hi, Lily girl. <laughs> They're like my magnets. They just stick by my side everywhere I go and I love it. I live in a fairy tale. So I don't have Katie to give me a hand right now, so I kind of have to drop this into the bucket. I'm gonna have to just drop this into the bucket. I see, I mean, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it works. Well, that didn't work out very well. <sighs> May as well cut some firewood while I'm waiting for Katie to come up here. <laughs> it's noisy. Welcome to fairy tale oh, land. Ned's going straight to it. Oh yeah. <laughs> I tried to land this on there. It didn't work. Oh. Watch your head.
Nebs, be nice, man. I need fuel. Uh, every time. Ah, because it's such a small saw, you know. <laughs> Why am I being so exact? <laughs> Hey 
just so that you guys know, I am hiring myself out for very custom railing systems on high-end homes. Uh, this is our flagship model called the Quick and Dirty. Um, should last about a week, maybe even two, but we don't give warranties, so you're on your own after you pay. Well, guess what happened last night? Oh, I got my light on. Headlamp, Greg. Our uh, shallow well pump which is what we used to get the water from our cistern into our house and pressurize our house, lip it the dust last night. But luckily there was the exact same one in stock in the closest town near us. So that's what we grabbed this morning. So I'm switching out a well pump. Oh man, I forgot to have to rewire this too. It's okay. So I'm an electrician, but like, I'm like, this is wasting an electrician's time getting them in to do this. Did you just get that? I did. I did just do that. And Katie. throws the plastic at me. I guess I should probably find some Teflon tape, which I have everywhere. Yeah. You want some water, bud? I'm gonna put this on a piece of plywood. Small piece of plywood. <laughs> okay, that should be good. Okay. Plug her in. So Katie's going to go flip the breaker. I don't always trust this PEX right here when it spins. PEX is great, but I just spinning PEX when the fitting spins in it, I just can't trust it. Even though it's got the clamp ring on it and everything. I mean, we'll see. We'll see when there's water pressurized in it, but cross your fingers. Well, it's holding water. I'm seeing air in the system though, so there must have been air somewhere in there. Perfect. Come on, man. <sighs> could be worse. There could still be snow on the ground behind me. It snowed last night for the first time. I just realized that there's like an inch thick of ice on the deck, which is okay because the sun's coming out today. It's going to melt everything and we're basically turning the whole deck into a greenhouse today. So I'm going to get some um, poly cut and then Katie and I are going to secure it to the top of the roof there and we're gonna hang it over top of this beautiful railing that I built temporarily. And then we're gonna put a heater and see if we can melt the ice. We are really pushing it for this project, but I want this to be done so that I can say the deck is done. And after the deck is done, it's siding time. Yes, you heard us right. It's siding time. Time to put up the siding on the house that hasn't had siding in now two years. 
So we're really excited about that. And if you actually have been following us out for a while, you'll remember that last year around this time, I was putting a cistern in the earth so that we could have water in our house. So a deck finish, finishing a deck and putting on siding is, isn't even a big deal in comparison to having water in the house for the winter. And that tank actually had a giant hole in it and I had to learn how to weld high density polyethylene. So it is what it is. I'm gonna get to work. All right, we've got the first piece on. Now we just need to do over that side, but it's already starting to help melt the ice off of the deck just on this half, which is really nice and promising. So yeah, it's coming along. We went a little short on that end, but we do have extra that we will be able to cut and just put over there if we, once we get both sides up. So bright in here it makes me want to sneeze every time I turn on the camera to film but now that we have this up I think we're gonna wrap up the video we're gonna give this a little bit of time to heat up and dry out we're gonna just keep working on scraping out the ice and get as many of the needles out of here as we can we might put on the propane heater for a little bit 
because if we can get a coat down tonight, that would be really nice. I think we have three or four days of sunshine, clear weather coming up, but it will be going down to freezing temperatures overnight. So cross your fingers for us and hope that this goes well. We'll see you in the next video. Pooey, who's just floating up? What do you think? Oh, I like it. I'm ready to go back to bed. Yeah. <laughs>